Well, it's still windy today, but I'm gonna be working in this garden bed. And a lot of the things that I'm going to be doing may seem a little bit counterintuitive, but I need to gain control over this bed because it's really a little bit too overgrown and it's getting too congested. So some of the things I'm gonna do are cut back some of this tall phlox, which is already starting to show some signs of powdery mildew. There's that wind again. I need to clip back that Virginia creeper that is getting a little bit too rambunctious coming over and scaling the top of the fence from my neighbors. I'm going to look really carefully for any signs of spider mite or pests. I have temporarily had this stand of wannabe rosemary topiaries in the center and I'm going to take that out and relocate it someplace else. You can see some of the poppies have already bloomed. They just don't last very long when it's this windy. A lot of the iris are starting to tumble over and some it's so strange you guys some of these things I do not remember planting and I'm sorry that the light is kind of harsh I didn't get out here early enough this morning to do this before it got too sunny but in general I'm gonna try to restore some definition to this whole space one thing I want to show you is all of this foliage on these ambassador alliums, these came from color blends, I just did a story on them, really got beaten up by the hail the other day. And that's the hazard of broad leafed foliage is it can really be vulnerable to damage from high winds or hail like we had the other night. Here are some pretty poppies. These turned out to be a different color than what I anticipated and they're not as large as they normally are, but obviously the bees don't seem to mind. It is a pretty Saturday morning, so everybody is out doing their yard work. I should have gotten out earlier to film this, you guys. Um, here is a really beautiful iris of unknown variety. It's hard to capture the detailing on it in this glare. But it's really pretty. I might even cut some of those today to bring inside. And then I've got a Graham Thomas rose over here that needs lots of work. It's growing up on one of these Titan two tours from Gardener Supply. I'll try to do a swipe up on that a little bit later and then I have some things that are just now coming out. I'll describe this planter that is just now starting to put on foliage. I'll describe that in another long video that I will be doing with my my buddy Stuart after I get all of this work complete. The other thing I'm going to do is there are two sentinel wintergreen boxwood cones on both sides, or both ends rather. Let me pan down here. You can kind of see it in the distance of this garden bed. Now this bed, you guys, is right across from the potager over here. I have work to do there as well. This is the time of year where it starts getting really busy, lots of maintenance to be done. And, but the winds and the rain have kind of curtailed some of that. But I want to give you, as I promised, an accounting, a very specific accounting of what is growing in these beds. So these are the things that I'm getting ready to do here. There's one of my trademark, my signature baskets with my dove coat. I have maybe something exciting to tell you guys about, but I don't want to be premature. I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched. Oh, look at the happy bees.
So tomorrow I will I will um, will shoot an update of this area when the light is better and after it's all been tidied up and I have assumed a semblance of control over this area. You can see in terms of perspective, one thing that I'm gonna do you guys is I'm having an illustration, a graphical illustration of my garden so that you guys will know what is where. That is the viburnum, which you can see is finished and I just love the way the gray foliage is starting to come out. Uh, the, the browning white petals won't last there for much longer and then excuse my hose being out. The climbing old blush is about finished, but these areas I will describe in more detail. As you can see, I've got my tools out. It is very much a work day and I need to whip this whole area into shape and I shall. So stay tuned if you are watching this and you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel then you want to do that because I'm going to be doing updates and garden tours of all of my various garden rooms in addition to all sorts of other information. So uh, subscribe, join the bees, and hang out with me in my garden.